Well, this morning, the community is mourning the loss of Stan Brock, an incredible man. In 1985, he founded Remote Area Medical to give people in need essential health care. Since then, Ram has provided free dental vision and basic health care to more than 740,000 people. Ram CEO says Brock suffered a stroke in recent days, and that led to his passing. He was 82 years old, and now he leaves behind a legacy of helping people all around the world. Russell Biven is live at Ram's headquarters this morning with more on how this small effort grew to impact thousands around the world. He's also getting to know Stan even better. And boy, he was just an incredible person. The Renaissance man. I mean, you hear that? This dude was the Renaissance man. Let me tell you, Stan was on this saddle in Guyana for a large part of his life, but he made a promise to a tribe there because he saw people getting hurt in remote areas of Guyana that could not get medical care. And he made a promise, I am going to start an organization that will get people who are in some of the remote, most remote parts of the world and give them free medical care. And today, RAM has served over 740,000 people. They've done it in East Tennessee, and they've done it all over the country and all over the world and their headquarters is just absolutely incredible. The things Stan did from eye to dental to general medical care, just absolutely incredible. And we're in the situation room here. We'll show you in just a moment. But Stan just had a heart for other people. Follow through on his mission and uh, I'll miss him in the corner. He'll always be an inspiration uh, and we will do him proud as we move forward, treating more and more people every year. Stan was always on the go. I mean, the guy never stopped. He actually slept here at the headquarters, and he always slept on a real thin mat, never slept in a bed, uh, lived a very humble life. But when it came to helping other people, he was the biggest of human beings. I mean, absolutely incredible person. If you don't know who Stan Brock was, he wrote some books, and you can get a hold of those. You can also learn more about Stan at WBIR.com. I would suggest doing so even just to teach the kids a little bit about what it's like to give for others. Abby, we're going to have more about Stan Brock, the big TV and television star, mm -hmm. when we come back in just a little bit. You know, Russ, over the last decade, you and I have been at the desk together. We've covered so many of the RAM events here in town and people lining up for hours and around blocks to get a hold of the free medical care. I mean, he's helped so many people, yes, in our own community, but think about that impact times a thousand around the world. Just awesome. Yeah, and some of the things that folks around here remember Stan saying, one more patient, one more patient. Stan would look out in that crowd of people and he'd see one at the very end and time is ticking down or a child at the very end. And Stan would say, we've got to see one more patient. And Ram, this mission will continue on. Stan made sure before he passed away years ago that without him, this organization will still go on and they will continue to serve that one more patient. Aw, Russell, thanks. I know we're all sad about it as well. We appreciate it. The community actually has been expressing their support on social media. Comments have been coming in since people heard the news of Stan's passing. Patricia says, I don't think anyone will ever be able to replace him and his love for helping those folks who needed medical attention. Sue said he was that wow factor. Terry called him a great man who had a huge adventure and vision. Mary said our community and the world lost a great friend. And in lieu of flowers, if you'd like to pay tribute to Brock's life and legacy, volunteer with or donate to Ram. Of course, that's what he wanted. We have a link at WBIR.com. It has been nearly 10 years.